right, welcome back to Morning Breaks, a dream date, if you will. Now, we want the audience to help the grease man on this. Would you select Bachelorette number one? Would you select Bachelorette number two? Number three. Decision. I don't know. I can't do it. I just can't do it. Someone talk to me. I try to read the faces in the crowd. I try to read yours. Everybody has a different idea, a different reaction. I just, I, I just don't know what I'm in for. Should I be brutalized by number one? Should I take the tenderness of number three, the heat love of number three? I, I, I just don't know. Well, you have to do something. What are you going to do? <laughs> Can we just take them all and make a sandwich? <laughs> All right, the audience, uh, I, I seem to detect a louder response for number one, right? Yeah. However, you wouldn't lead me wrong now, would you? <laughs> Y'all wouldn't do it just to humiliate Uncle Walter, would you? Okay, I'll rely on the maggotry. <laughs> number one. I didn't do it right the first time, and I should have had the people that you didn't select come out first. So let me introduce to you the ones that you didn't select. Oh, God. Bachelorette number two. Either side, but... Bachelorette number two is Toni Larson. She is the February 1984 Penthouse Pet of the Month. Ah! <laughs> sorry, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, my God. No. <laughs> I want to see every one of you after the show. <laughs> Talking individually. <laughs> I mean, IFD individually. Always listen to your inner voice. Yeah. All right. Bachelorette number three is no. Pam Brown. She's an amateur bodybuilder who has competed on an amateur basis. She's won several competitions, including Miss DC 1984. She also has. Hello, Let me see. Let me see. Now we'll show you the person that you selected. <laughs> production at the station I gotta do. I gotta run. I'll get back with you a little bit later on. Okay? All right. <laughs> Bachelorette number one is Patty Hardy. She's a stand-up comedian whose materials attempt to reconcile her up with... She's a wonderful woman, and I'm sure we'll, we'll have a great time together. Yeah, how about that? I my tape measure here. Really? <laughs> well, you've handled oh. diameter. You want to do length? No. <laughs> no, it's nice sure. to meet you. It's a, it's, a, it's a joy to feel, and I have to catch your act sometime. <laughs> great, Chris. This We're... started off as a family show. <laughs> it still is. It, still it could is. turn out to be. You know, you want to have a family? <laughs> Oh, God. They ask me why I drink. You get new material from each other. You know what bothers me, though? Let's say what really bothers me. All over town, VHSs and Betamaxes are rolling. You know? <laughs> this will be saved for years to come. You'll write me letters from Hollywood. Oh, yeah. We probably could have had a nice time uh, from the mansion. And you, you'll probably taunt me around the station. You'll stand outside the window. Hi, here's what you could have had. I'm going to bring my <laughs> But no, uh, I'm only kidding, of course. I, oh, sure. I right. think we should have a wonderful time together, you and I. I hope so. As long as <laughs> Let me ask the ladies before we go to the audience questions. Dating in Washington. I've heard some of the other people talk about it. Any problems? I think Grease Meadows said he has no problems. There are plenty of people out there. What about yourselves? Fun, dangerous, interesting, dull, boring, what? A date in D.C.? Oh, this is my first time You're in You're not from the area. No, no, I'm from New York. So what is it like in New York? Oh, God. I, I don't leave my apartment. You don't leave your apartment? No, I do. I do, I do. It depends on what's happening, but... Um, I don't go clubbing. I don't go out. I'm usually 
studying for an audition in the morning. That's kind of how I, I am. Yeah. <laughs> I do a lot of acting and I do a lot of TV and I like to just and modeling sit around, and stuff like get that. On, like, talk. And I work out a lot and I take care of myself because out there is you need spears and you weapons. Work out? <laughs> yeah, I work I don't out know, every day. I work out a little bit myself. Really? Yeah. really? Yeah. Well, feel this. Oh my God, you want to like? <laughs> <laughs> Ah, just a little good, clean fun. We don't mean nothing. I know, I know. Yeah, buddy. Well, she'll be history in New York anyway, so... Yeah, pass it around to the rest of you. Dating in Washington. You're our Wash the rest of you are Washingtonians. What about it? Well, dating in Washington is like finding a house. You know, you're looking for something that's at least semi-detached and <laughs> a single-family unit that's built well. Of course, of course. With good interest rates. <laughs> Hey, that's a nice line. Okay, <laughs> and what about yourself? I think the nation's capital has the most attractive men in it. Oh. It's Ooh, great. I to, um, <laughs> wonderful, uh... <laughs> Let me get some questions and comments out here. Now, you all are a little young for this, but let's see. What's your question? How were the bachelorettes picked? Okay. Well, we have a staff that sits around here selecting individuals. We were looking around trying to pique his, his uh, imagination, so it took a lot of time and energy. <laughs> I think we did that, though, don't you think? Yeah. Okay. Is there a chance of habodugi on the first date? But are you asking me that question? Yes. <laughs> or <What>? her. <laughs> Buddy, I get it in writing before I show up. I mean, what is this chance stuff? You know, I see. Did I miss someone back here? Okay, who did I miss? Oh, okay, I'm sorry, here. Okay, um, I wanted to ask the grease man, when you go out on dates with people, it seems like she might be more your type. Um, did you keep the, um, the women laughing or the woman laughing a lot? Because it seemed like if you would take me on a date, I wouldn't be able to eat. <laughs> <laughs> I know how you feel. Okay. Actually, actually I'm kind of a, kind of a client on your kind of stomach, guy. too? Okay. I don't tell a whole lot of jokes when we're out. I, uh, I just, I'm kind of quiet, sensitive. I studying for auditions, <laughs> knocking around the house. Is that, that a problem, though, the expectation that you're always going to be, you know, making someone laugh? I mean, that could be kind of rough when you it just is. really want to go out and just have a good time yourself. Yeah, well, the thing is, you don't want to be in the throes of passion and have her suddenly look at you and say, would you do a law man for me, please? You, know? <laughs> you want someone to look at me for the, the real Nino. I see. Well, let's find out the dream date that you're going to go on, see? Let's have that information right now. Okay. Five. 